You'd think that for being the golden girl of Hollywood, Ellen would have a pristine reputation. But despite Ellen's perfect public persona, she's made quite a few enemies over the years. I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities that don't like Ellen DeGeneres, here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news, we spill the tea, we tell you about what's trending on the internet. I'm Charlotte Doray. Smash the subscribe and notification bell so that you never miss one of our videos and like follow us on social media. I gave myself a quarantine haircut today, guys. It's like not too much shorter, but like thinned out a bit. I feel like it's like healthy. I feel like it's healthy. Okay, let's stop talking about my hair. I first want to start off this video by saying that no person is perfect. I mean, can we all really say that we've never said anything bad about somebody else? That we've never, you know, said something that we wish we could take back? Or maybe acted a certain way around people and that might have changed that person's perception about us? Yeah, well, just take all these explanations with a grain of salt because nobody's perfect, not even Ellen. Starting off our list at number 10 with Elton John. Ellen came out of the closet more than 20 years ago. It was the biggest moment in her life and one of the biggest moments to date in pop culture. Naturally, people had a lot of opinions about it because it was a long time ago and people aren't as accepting of LGBTQ people as they are today, though, people still need to work on that. But anyways, so Ellen coming out of the closet was one of the biggest news stories of the year to the point where people just like wouldn't stop talking about it. Ellen herself only did a Time Magazine cover story. She did a primetime special with Diane Sawyer and Oprah. But other than that, she didn't really talk to people about coming out. It was mostly just tabloid headlines. But one of the stars that was just sick of hearing about Ellen being gay was interestingly, Elton John, who reportedly said, Shut up already. We know you're gay. Be funny. This really surprised Ellen because she was surprised to get that kind of response from a gay icon like Elton John. At number nine on our list, we have Liza Minnelli. This little riff comes from a joke that Ellen made when she hosted the Oscars in 2014. Not sure if you guys remember this, but in her opening monologue, she said, Hello to the best Liza Minnelli impersonator I've ever seen. It wasn't an impersonator. It was Liza Minnelli sitting in the audience. The cameras panned over to Liza as Ellen said, good job, sir. Liza didn't really think the joke was very funny. In fact, the smile was like completely wiped off her face. In response, Liza Minnelli said this, I think Ellen thought it would be funny, but she never stopped after she said it and said, my friend Liza Minnelli. That wasn't the only awkward moment for Liza at the 2014 Oscars involving Ellen. Remember that iconic Oscar selfie that Ellen took? You know, the one that broke all the Twitter records? Well, you might not have known this, but Liza Minnelli was actually like in the photo, but you couldn't see her. She was behind all of the other actors. Other photos from that moment show her standing at the back. According to Liza, she stood up and then all the men pushed her out of the way. <laughs> At number eight, we have Susan Sarandon. When Ellen was photographed at a Dallas Cowboys game, cozying up to George W. Bush, there were quite a few celebrities who spoke out against Ellen's relationship with George. Ellen defended herself and said that she's friends with all types of people, even people who have differing opinions, which is a good way to live, except for that doesn't really apply to all the people that she knows. I'll get to that later. Susan Sarandon tweeted this article with quotations. But missing the point entirely, DeGeneres framed the issue as simply a matter of her hanging out with someone with a different opinion, not a man repeatedly accused of being a war criminal. Ellen publicly denounces people like Caitlyn Jenner for not being as supportive of gay marriage as she should be, yet she hangs out with George W. Bush and calls him a friend, and George W. Bush was completely opposed to gay marriage when he was in office. The shade was thrown, friends. The shade was thrown. At number seven, we have Mark Ruffalo. Mark is another one of the celebrities that got upset when Ellen was seen with George W. Bush at that Dallas Cowboys game. Here's what he tweeted in response. Sorry, until George W. Bush is brought to justice for the crimes of the Iraq war, including American-led torture, Iraqi deaths and displacement, and the deep scars, emotional and otherwise inflicted on our military that served his folly, we can't even begin to talk about kindness. Critics of Mark Ruffalo and his tweet said that if he regarded George W. Bush as a war criminal, then he should feel the same way about both Obama and Hillary Clinton. When in reality, Ruffalo actually backed both of their campaigns. One can only assume that Mark Ruffalo is a hypocrite or he just doesn't like Ellen. Maybe it's a bit of both. At number six, we have Drew Barrymore. It may come as a surprise to you that Drew Barrymore and Ellen DeGeneres don't get along. They actually worked on a reality TV show together back in 2017 called First Dates. First Dates was a series that explored all of the simple wonders of a first date. But according to people close to them who worked on the show, Drew and Ellen are quote, like oil and water. Apparently they both wanted creative control over the show and they would butt heads pretty often. A source told In Touch, Ellen expected to be the one calling the shots, but Drew thinks she should have the creative control because she was the movie 
star that people are tuning in to see. Even though Drew narrated the show, Ellen was the executive producer. The show wasn't picked up for a second season, unfortunately, and nobody really knows why, but the rumors are that the show failed because Ellen and Drew were just not really good at communicating with one another. Halfway there, at number five, we have Dakota Johnson. Dakota's Ellen appearance was one of the things that marked the downfall of Ellen's pristine reputation. It was one of the most awkward TV interviews ever, and I'm even surprised that it ended up on the air. If you haven't seen that interview, Ellen calls Dakota out for not inviting her to her birthday party for the second year in a row. I'm sure that she thought that that was like a joke that like people wouldn't think much of, but Dakota clarified that she did invite Ellen to her recent birthday party and Ellen just didn't show up. Know where Ellen was that weekend? Hanging out with George W. Bush at a Dallas Cowboys game. Yeah. At number four, we have Wendy Williams. Is it that outlandish of a claim that Wendy and Ellen don't really like each other? It's probably a mutual feeling. Both these women have daytime talk shows that compete with one another. They also have competing audiences. Interestingly, Wendy has been on Ellen's show a few times, but not the other way around. Wendy has never invited Ellen to appear on her show. Either that or Ellen doesn't wanna be on Wendy's show, Either or, it's not a good scenario. The two talk show hosts could not be more different. Wendy is known for being outspoken and harsh, and while Ellen is actually known for disliking celebrities who are outspoken and harsh, Joan Rivers and Kathy Griffin included. The feud between Ellen and Wendy seems to go back to an interaction between Wendy and Ellen's wife, Portia de Rossi. There was one specific time where Wendy approached Portia on the red carpet, and she asked about an incident where Portia was seen cozying up to another woman in a hot tub. This was before Portia was openly gay, and it was also before people knew about her relationship with Ellen. That would make me salty about Wendy as well. Definitely not the right environment to ask that kind of question either. Oh, hi, excuse me. Uh, come here, come here. Um, are you gay? <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go in the... Um... At number three, we have Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner aired out all of her dirty laundry about Ellen in her tell-all book. According to Caitlyn and her book, their feud started with Caitlyn's controversial appearance on The Ellen Show in 2015. The interview was meant for Caitlyn to clear up misconceptions about her political views. Caitlyn is a conservative and she, at first, opposed the idea of gay marriage. Since coming out as transgender, Caitlyn said that she has changed her mind. After Caitlyn's appearance, Ellen went on The Howard Stern Show where she said that Caitlyn Jenner wasn't fully on board with marriage equality. According to Caitlyn, Ellen's reaction painted Caitlyn as anti-marriage equality and it, quote, further alienated her from members of the LGBTQ community. Caitlyn said that Ellen took her words out of context and made it go viral. At number two on this list, we have Piers Morgan. Let's face it, Piers Morgan doesn't like anybody. Like, I, he just hates everyone. <laughs> which is probably why people like him. He's entertaining. He's made a career out of slamming down celebrities on Good Morning Britain, but he's known to openly dislike Ellen. He's said it a few times. He's not, he doesn't really give her the treatment, the special treatment, the be kind treatment that Ellen always preaches. Back in 2018, in a discussion on the show where it was revealed that they would be covering the Oscars, the hosts were talking about who they thought should host. Piers quickly said that Ricky Gervais should host. He said, Ricky Gervais should host the Oscars, let's be honest. Ricky Gervais should be parachuted in to rip them all to pieces. Susanna then said that Ellen would be a great host, to which Piers responded, oh, don't be ridiculous. She is a hopeless, hopeless host. Syncophantic, you get the idea. But this wasn't the only time that Piers threw shade at Ellen. He's called her out for being a hypocrite on several occasions. He attacked her for supporting Kevin Hart to host the Oscars after all that drama unfolded, saying on Twitter, of course, if Trump had said the homophobic things Kevin Hart tweeted, Ellen would have led the furious, unforgiving woke rage against him. Liberal celebrity hypocrisy is such a limitless vibe. And at number one here, we have Kathy Griffin. This is an age-old feud between two female comedians that should be friends. I mean, really, there's not enough female comics as it is, and like the two main ones are like hating each other. I don't know. It just sucks that they can't work it out. Kathy has been open about the fact that she and Ellen are not BFF. She said in interviews before that she is, quote, not Ellen's cup of tea. She also said in her comedy show at the Los Angeles Dolby Theater that Ellen rejected the opportunity to pay tribute to Joan Rivers when she died, saying, one of the things that really hurt Joan, and we talked about this at our last meal together, was that Ellen always shunned her and Ellen thought she was vulgar and not funny. According to Kathy Griffin, Ellen had banned her from appearing on The Ellen Show. And also, apparently, Ellen kicked her out of the backstage area of the Emmys. Ellen denies that she's banned Kathy Griffin from her show, but she also said this in response. She did a whole thing that I banned her from her show. I didn't ban her from the show because first, you have to be on the show to be banned. Well, if that isn't a shade throw, I don't know what is. 
All right, guys, that is all I have for you on that. Let's respond to some comments, shall we? Maria said, my cats have been throwing shade at me and acting mean for the whole quarantine. Can you expose them to Charlotte? Girl, yes. You got the receipts? Got the texts? Show me. Michelle said, everyone being exposed left, right, and soon, there will be no more secrets or stuff of that nature, and we will most likely watch it all unfold here on IO. I'm just airing out everybody's dirty laundry, just pinning it up for everyone to see. <laughs> oh god, I feel like this is gonna come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> I'm just reporting. <laughs> Kiora's animation said, I love how Charlotte can look like a model and change into a meme within five seconds. That's one second though. Like, I feel like you can give me a little more credit than that. It's model and then meme in less than a second. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys next time.